Hi. As most of you know, on Saturday, 31st of July 2021, my friend Mel and I and some great friends are running the event Tapping Into Your Big Vision. And of course, I've been thinking about it this week. And it's the vision that I find really fascinating. Because although we're talking about tapping into your big vision, and that's about allowing yourself to dream big, I'd also like to let you know that any vision you have is okay. Your vision might be that you'd like to be able to spend more time sitting in the garden. That's a vision. And it's a big one for you, so it's okay. I just want people to know that tapping into your big vision is not about doing things that you think you should be doing or that other people think you should be doing or that you're telling yourself the universe is expecting you to do. I'd like you to remember that actually you're here just to be you and to expand yourself into the world and, and shine your light. And you can do that in absolutely any way that you choose. There is no right, no wrong. So whether your vision is to stand on concert platforms and tap in front of 2,000 people, whether it's to spend time growing beautiful things in the garden, whether it's sitting and reading, whether it's going shopping and smiling at people as you go. All of those things can be part of your vision. So don't get trapped into thinking a big vision has to be overwhelming. It can be absolutely anything that you want. So I thought we'd do a tap on it. Then those that are doing the big vision with us will get to tap on their big vision. And if you're not, and you find this after it's over, you can choose any of us to tap with. So even though I was always scared that a big vision might be too big for me, I love and accept all parts of me. Even though I've been telling myself that a big vision is what society expects or my friends expect or the colleague, my colleagues expect or the universe expects or that the part that beats me up expects. I love and accept all parts of me. And I'd like all parts to know that if it's my vision, it's big. And it can be world-changingly and obviously huge, or it can be world-changing and obviously small. And either way, I'm okay. Because I change the world just by being me. And the more me I am, the more I help to change the world. And I'm giving myself permission now to tune into what's a good vision for me. Everybody will have a different version because everybody has a different role to play. Our only job is to decide what makes us happy. What brings us joy? What makes us glow so we can share that with the world and I love and accept all parts of me. A big vision is my vision, whatever version I choose it to be. It can be mind-blowing, it can be gentle, it can change my life, it can just enhance my life. And I give myself permission to create my own vision for me. And I give myself permission to live it right here, right now. And I love and accept all parts of it.